This video is brought to you by 3, bringing you 4G at no extra cost. Hey guys, welcome to BTECH. It's Basil here and it's Gadget of the Week time. Well, actually it's Gadget Bag of the Week time. E for 2014, just around the corner. Hopefully on Wednesday, we'll be seeing the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and the Sony Xperia Z3. We'll be walking miles and miles across show floor to bring you the latest hands-on videos with everything. But what are we gonna have to support us? Well, it's all in this bag, except for the tripod and camera that I'm recording this on. We'll start off by taking you around some of the main compartments around the outside. First off, water. Health is important so we'll put that to one side. You can see the slot with the water actually has a zip so that we can actually fit other stuff in as well. We've also got a clip mic so we can give you better quality audio at the actual event and that's in another zip right there. Looking at the top we have a Nintendo DS. Now we obviously are going to be flying out to EFA from the UK and we need some entertainment so we've got some Pokemon on there. You can also see there's a little icon on the actual bag, sunglasses, and that's cool because all these icons are dotted around and they really help you visualize where you're going to chuck all your stuff. It's lined as well so it won't damage your sunglasses or our Nintendo DS. You've also got another zip here. And here we've got the good speed. Now bringing that closer into frame, you can see the good speed looks like a regular Wi-Fi hotspot. If we actually open that up, we can see that the good speed has seven SIM cards inside. That's because each one works for a different region. We've got the UK, we've got Belgium, we've got France, we've got Germany, Germany, where EFA is. And that's exactly why we've got this in our bag. We can take a look in our other side pocket sustenance. When you're at a conference, you're going to be walking around a show floor for days. That protein bar has green tea extract, caffeine, which is perfect. Our main compartment now, and this is chocker full, but you can see we've still actually got a bit of room to breathe. We're going to kick off with probably the coolest accessory in here, and that's the TechLink Recharge. Now this you can see has a US plug on it. It's also got two USB ports, can bring that closer into frame. Um, the US plug is the default, but but we'll open up our top pocket. We've also got a European adapter on here and we'll just slide that over. And we've also got a UK adapter for when we're in the airport in the UK. What this is gonna do is it's gonna provide two USB outs, one that's 2.1 amps, one that's one amp. It'll charge our devices, then it will charge the 6,000 milliamp battery in here. Once all three are charged, you can use this as a portable battery. Again, 6,000 milliamps should keep your iPhone going around three or so charges. It's amazing. If we look inside, we've got more protein bars, this time for muscle building, and this time, an Another protein bar for just general purpose protein. Um, keys, we've also got something very cool on here. This is a USB to micro USB, but it's on the keychain. So in case we ever lose our USB cable, we're always, always catered for. Finally, we've got a pen compartment. The pen compartment holds our Surface Pro 3 pen, which should give you an indication as to what's in our back pocket. We can unzip the back and we can see there is another pocket here, but we haven't actually got anything in there. We can put all that back. And now we can get back to our main pocket and we've taken the recharge out, but we're not gonna rely on that for battery. Our phone of the show is gonna be the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. That's because we're gonna wanna run a load of comparisons with the Note 4, which is expected to be launched. This is an external charger. It'll connect with the recharge and just charge up our second battery so we are never out of phone juice. We can put that back in that compartment there and throw the TechLink recharge back in the top and uh, we've already covered the Nomo Nomad before, but it's totally worth a mention as no doubt it will be in our gadget bag. Got passport, got pen and paper. Speaking of pen, this is a live scribe pen, so smart pen. Everything that we write on here will fire straight through to our iPhone 5S, which is in another compartment we'll show you a little later. We've also got a Samsung Galaxy S4 for comparison purposes and a Sony Xperia Z Ultra also for comparison purposes. You can see here we've got the native union jump. This is gonna give you a few hundred milliamps and it's gonna double up as a USB cable. So it's like the TechLink recharge, but it's a much smaller body. This is a 16 gigabyte USB key. Unlike regular USB key, like the one we've got there, which is a SanDisk 64 gig USB key, this is actually gonna connect to our computer and 
connect to our Android device. So our Android device can read the 16 gig um, very, very easily. And it's USB 3, unlike the Sony version of this, which we took a look at earlier in the year. You've also got a section for cards and business cards, etc. Like we said, that LiveScribe pen works with this paper. So if our um, tech fails us, we'll always have pen to paper, but you can also get bigger pads for that. And it is very reasonable indeed. If we put that to one side, we can also see we've got a Bion Audio Soundbook Go. This is about as portable as half decent audio gets. It looks very, very cool. It's 70 odd pounds, 79 pounds, I think it is. So it's relatively affordable as well. And it charges via my micro USB does a really good job of producing sound. And when you're in a hotel room, there is nothing to make you feel more at home than your own music. So if we pull out, we've got the Surface Pro 3 charger. Again, another indication as to what you'll find a little later on. And we have this. This is actually awesome. You can't buy them anymore, unfortunately, but sure you can get something like it. It's made by a company called Gravis that don't actually make these things anymore. We don't think they do. And if we open it up, we can see M8 for Windows, regular M8. We've got two phones in here. We've got HTC One Mini and a Samsung Galaxy S5 Mini. So what that means is that we can have our bases covered if anyone releases anything small to compare them with. We've also got all our flagships. Like we said, the M8, the iPhone 5S, the Sony Xperia Z2, Samsung Galaxy S5, Nokia Lumia 930, LG G3, and Motorola Moto X. As all of these devices will be relevant for comparisons at IFA 2014. If we close that up for you, this is an HTC wireless receiver um, and it's connected to a 3.5mm jack that will connect to our Sony headphones. Now these headphones have seen us through thick and thin. They're the MDR1Rs. You can get Bluetooth variants of these and they deliver phenomenal sound. Closing that up and that is our main compartment expunged so we can put everything back. This year we're taking Gamble. First year we're not actually taking our MacBook Pro with us. We're gonna take the Surface Pro 3 with any luck. Main reason being, we've edited loads of video on Premiere Pro on this thing. It's worked an absolute treat. On top of that, obviously it's much more portable and it's gonna test out the Surface Pro 3 in an additional way, which will prep us perfectly for our full review. And lastly, in case you thought we were completely done, we also have a strap pouch. The strap pouch, can support a small phone such as the Sony Xperia Z1 Compact. Perfect for our comparison with the expected upcoming Z3 Compact or an iPhone, for example, but it won't take larger Android devices as it is very small. Also, it'll take things like keys. So that's been our gadget bag. The Squadron 15 does a great job of holding it all. And of course, we're gonna do our very best to make it all work hard for you, bringing you everything from EFA as soon as it happens. Stay tuned, subscribe to BTECH. And if you'd like any of the products that we've talked about here or want any more information, we'll put everything in the descriptions below linking through to the manufacturer's sites. Thanks for watching.